Good morning, Major Archer. The following news highlights have been custom filtered for your special interest. They're the courtesy of Hypercast Network. For further information on any topic, a complete report is available at minor charge. Be sure to supply your regimental ID for further discount. Reports from the front lines are grim. The Department of Mandated Colonization confirms 12 additional frontier planets have been infested by Xenome species. In spite of the arrival of massive numbers of gunmen troops, panic continues to spread among the colonists and haphazard civilian evacuations have begun to mount in direct defiance of colonial mandate. While critics warn that the outbreak of Xenome hostilities across so many fronts has stretched the fighting force to its breaking point, Gunman leaders deny these speculations. Still, despite sustained fighting over several weeks, even high echelon leaders cannot deny that losses are high. And for the first time in its history, the human species is faced with the possibility of colonized worlds being abandoned to a belligerent and predatory alien race. Watchers report several recent arrivals of gunman neural specimens to the medical intelligence facility. While complete mapping of salvaged tissue remains difficult, there are rumored to be powerful memories of a massive alien queen correlated between neural samples rescued from several different worlds. Experts discount such claims as fearful conjecture, pointing out that it is difficult to separate fact and fantasy when charting mnemonic traces. They use the same point to dispel the far wilder claims of bloodthirsty creatures made entirely of shadow, which have recently caused much upset among colonial conscripts. Last evening, Dr. Varkas Kalhorian, civilian scientist and founder of the Citizens of Full Disclosure, called a press conference to state his belief that the xenomes have been genetically modified and deliberately placed on inhabited planets by an unknown faction. I demand an investigation by a neutral party of all records related to the infestation, including a complete review of documents I believe unlawfully suppressed by the Department of Colonization. Administrators who could have contained this threat when it was negligible chose to sacrifice colonial lives rather than endanger their profits. DMC officials declined to respond to Dr. Calhorian, except to once again invoke the classification of all such documents as top secret under the Predatory Species Act. Lawyers for both sides continue to prepare for what will undoubtedly be a protracted battle. Today in technology, all gunman troops are being armed with a new line of configurable weapons first pioneered by frontier inventors. Soldiers who volunteered to use prototype models in frontline situations give them high marks for their ability to adapt to the changing face of xenome warfare. Weapon facts are working overtime to supply troops with the latest models and plan to continue shipping upgrades and modifications as they become available. Major Archer, your regiment starts training with these weapons today. Our standing orders are to search the area for the origin of the suspicious signal. What's so suspicious about it? It contains an obsolete but high-ranking gunman code. Okay, let's get started. Split up and secure the landing zone. from space. Sir, they found something. Over there! What was that? There's something out there. In the jungle. Hey, something's happening. It, it, it just activated. What's going on? It's a trap! Get the hell out of here! came from, sir. It was an ambush! Stay close. 
close, sir. Let's flank the bastards! Follow me to the bunker. Let's run for it! This way! already and it knows that there are more. Don't leave the cat catacombs. Oh, you are doomed. I feel certain you remember me. Think back five years. You might recall a little scene that unfolded on Banjo Prime. Scene of a crime, I should say. You weren't even a major then. You had no authority to order the retreat. Not while your general was still alive. If you'd read your science report more carefully, you'd have known that Silicon Life has no chance of digesting fellow gunmen or the scientists. But you left us all to rot in the guts of those Silicon beasts. After crushing the monster's heart with my bare hands, I struggled tooth and nail to free myself. Literally! As you can imagine, an experience like that changes a man. I felt from within that terrifying power of the beast. I had my first insight into the awesome weapon it could become. When I had freed the undigested science team, they too saw the light of my vision. And they have labored well to engineer a host of new xenome species. You're very important to me, Archer. I wouldn't have gone to the trouble of luring you here otherwise. Science would be nothing without its guinea pigs. But try not to feel as if your slow death has no meaning. We intend to learn a great deal from your suffering, and we'll put all this hard-won knowledge to good work, ensuring the slaughter of the rest of your gunmen, treacherous, self-centered brutes. Now, I'm not ungenerous myself. I've left you some basic supplies, and I'm betting your will to survive is strong enough to provide some valuable data. But in all honesty, 
The greatest service you can do us all is die in an interesting fashion. Yes, my friend, now it is your turn to find out what it's like to be eaten alive.